Hello and welcome to this brief introductory video to Traxter Miles. So if we find Traxter Miles in the menu and kick it off, you see the first time you load it, it, uh, it will ask you to log in to dailymile.com um, so it can bind the application to your account. So I'll just put in my email address here. And we'll skip the bit where I put my password in. And off we go. I don't need to remember that password for now. Hit the allow button. And it's just pulling in the timeline. There we go, there's my timeline. We can scroll up and down with finger swipe, and if you let it go to the top and then pull it down again, you actually end up with uh, a refresh as well. But if we now hit the add workout button, we can en manually enter a workout, so we'll add some details about a trip to circuits. That's going to be a fitness workout. It's about an hour, so I'll put 60 minutes in. Uh, skip the distance. Uh, it was an all right workout. I won't say it was good. So I'll just change that. And a quick comment just saying it was good to get out of the house for a bit. Okay, hit the upload button. It takes us back to the timeline, but if you look up in the notification space at the top, you'll see that it's, uh, it's actually completed that before you manage to uh, unwrap it. Tap it and it'll disappear. We do a quick pull to refresh on the uh, timeline. And we can see it's added the circuits workout. That's cool. Right, so if we drop that and just do uh, an export from my tracks now. So if you uh, fire up my tracks, you see. In this case I've got a 16k workout already recorded, so just let that load on the map. Hit the menu button, then, and save to SD card. So this is a change from the old version of my tracks. Save as GPX. So it writes that out to the SD card. When it's finished that, we want to hit the share track button. That'll now uh, load my tra uh, tracks to miles. Here we've not actually set the sharing up in my tracks yet, so we're just going to have to go back and turn that on. So you go back to my tracks and hit the menu button again. And then settings. And sharing. Allow access. And click OK on the little warning that pops up. We go back now, we can uh, hit menu again, hit save to SD card. And 
and same as GPX. It's a little more convoluted with this new version 2 of my tracks, which is a pain, but anyway. So I've shortened that a little bit in share track. See, it's filled in all the details, which is great. So now, just if we hit the uh, upload button, it'll take us back to my tracks, but you'll see the notification bars are shown up again. If we drag it down, uh, we get some status, so we can see it's creating a new route. And now it's uploading the GPX file. So it's going to take a little while, but we get a state spot to see how far we've got. It's quite a long route, so it takes a little while to upload. That's done. Now it's just adding the details to go with it, and we're all done. If we tap that, it'll disappear again. So that was how to upload from tracks to miles. If we just skip back, we'll go sorry, we'll go and check to see if it made it onto the timeline, which it should have done. So that load. And there it is, the new 16K stand-up. So that was tracks to miles.